Hello everybody, welcome back to Locomotion. Today we're going to do some quick signalling at Martinhead. I think we should plop down the station over here. We will be running a local service and an express service. So the big yards where there's going to be stuff for the food processing plant will be in this. Actually, you can't see the mouse in this. Okay, so I'm going to use this use this window to kind of do the area. So it's from here to here. All that area that the window is taking up, except for these buildings. But that church will have to have to be demolished probably. later on okay and then yes the track goes up into the air so that it can pass over all of these all of these fields and not affect anything so it kind of blends into everything blend, blend, uh, whatever Maybe I could use the lower quadrant distance. Now the upper quadrant. Now the upper quadrants look better. All right, wh what ones do you prefer, viewers? Lower quadrant or upper quadrant? Here's the lower quadrant, and here's the upper quadrant. Okay. I think I'll go for this one actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Signal, signal, lovely. And now we're approaching Alton. Lovely. Now, I think maybe we can wait a little bit to get some more money. Now we're going to plop down a... You know what? Let's finally change up this colour scheme since this is kind of ugly. Already I'm going to change the steam locomotives to black so they look like actual steam locomotives. The freight vehicles I think I'll turn to grey, perhaps? Oh wait, so we're going to have to have it the same colour as the mail cars. Hmm. Then we have passenger vehicles. Maybe a nice deep green like that. Then deep green. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Does it look good, viewers? Maybe we could have like a little wood aesthetic. Like that. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a wood like that. Now that look that wood doesn't look too good. Let's go for the wood aesthetic, and later on we'll change to something like steel. Then we got our buses. Now, for some reason, these trams... You think that the top would be the secondary colour, but it's not. And with this old WMC bus, I think a nice little idea would be to make it the second colour brown, so it kind of looks like it has a little wooden bits along there. See? Along the windows. And that kind of blends in. Uh, this one sticks out more. Um, now we can plop down our Alton passenger trains. I think this one shall be Oop. this one shall be our express Alton hmm. 
maybe Flintwood, then through Brokenton. I should add in their station actually. Ah, later. And then through Martin Head, through Downwood, Fort Dartway. And then, actually, I think. Then we got Downwood, Nediston, and Chinwell. We're kind of only stopping at interchange stops along the way. And also that Flintwood. So let's go make Brokenton's train station. Wait, actually, could I do a hybrid? I want to I see. It kind of works. Kind of. That really hurts with the bridge. <sighs> Did you jump, man? You could have made it like a little bit lower, just like one little pixel. Oh well. And now we do the local train. Oh my gosh. Although it's gonna pass through the bootwood stuff. Nediston, Fort Dartway, Downwood, Martinhead, Brokenton, Flintwood, Oldton, then we go back, Flintwood, Brokenton, Martinhead, Downwood, Fort Dartway, Nediston, and then back to T to Chinwell. Bootwood's getting quite big. Maybe I could do a little tram next episode. Speaking of next episode, uh, we've about reached eight minutes now. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!